Hi everyone, my name is Zoe Sargent and I'm here today to tell you about a study my colleagues and I did demonstrating preferences for identity first language in the autism community. It's important to understand this community's language preferences because it can help us avoid using language that further contributes to the marginalization and discrimination against autistic individuals. Prior research has generally focused on identity first language versus person first language and found that autistic individuals prefer identity first language. So we conducted a large scale study in North America with 611 autistic individuals and 173 people with some other connection to autism, whether that was a family member, a friend, someone they worked with or another connection. We asked participants about a set of seven terms which could be grouped into identity first terms or person first terms. And the first question we asked was, which of these terms would you use? We conducted a binary logistic regression and found that a main effect of type of term such that identity first terms were used more often than person first terms. There was also a significant interaction, so this difference between identity first terms and person first terms was larger for the autistic group than non autistic group. We found a similar pattern when we asked participants to rate how much they liked terms on a scale of one to seven. When we found the average of um, how much participants liked identity first terms versus person first terms, the average rating for identity first terms was higher than person first terms. And again, this difference was greater for the autistic group than the non autistic group. Interestingly, when we asked participants to rate on a scale of one to five how offensive they thought these terms were, autistic participants, but not non-autistic participants, said that identity first terms were more offensive than person first terms. And finally, we asked participants to rate these terms and a few others, which is why the rankings are out of one to 10, um, and rank which ones they like the most to the ones they like the least. An overall test and then pairwise comparisons showed that autistic was the highest ranked term, followed by autistic person, and then followed by all of the person first terms. So overall, we found that participants said that they would use identity first terms more than person first terms, liked these terms better, and ranked these terms more highly. We plan to continue analyses with open-ended qualitative data to better understand why some participants liked identity first terms, but also said these terms were more offensive. And we plan to continue analyses regarding some other terms that don't quite fall into identity first versus person first. But overall, these data show that the autistic community prefers identity first language, and so these terms should be used in widespread communication.